So I agreed, along with um, three other friends, to write a poem a day, every day, for 365 days. And to, to write it on a postcard and send it to a friend, first draft. Now for me, this was really uncomfortable, because I want perfect poems. And of course I can't write perfect poems, but I can try. But suddenly being asked to do this just on the postcard, send it out, like it's done, <coughs> this was scary. Um, I did it every day without fail. Um, it was an amazing experience. I learned a lot about what I could and couldn't do, and I became enormously attentive, especially because I had to walk around every day going, God, I need a poem. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, I, a bird. Bird. I haven't had a bird in a while. <laughs> See, what a bird would do. Um, and it sounds really cold-blooded, but what really happened is that I started paying very close attention to what happened as a result of that. So, um, I only saved 60, or at least there are only 60 in this book. I'm going to read you a few of these and then get to some new poems. August 26th. Um, some of these, we go right past 9-11 um, in here. Uh, that's when I started, was that year. August 26th. A dragonfly lights on the tip of a dead elderberry branch. From time to time it leaps to grab a gnat, then settles again. It seems a minor thing, until the sun clicks forward one more notch and pours itself through a single tilted wing. September 9th, a nuthatch slams into the bay window. The ledge catches her, keeps her from the cat's mouth, but she stays there, stunned, caught by the betrayal of air, turned suddenly solid. How could she ever move past this moment without the grace of necessity? How could any of us? September 11. The rain-split plums have been falling. The ground so littered now that numbers no longer have meaning. September 14. Light alone can't unlock the morning. Everything we see carries the burden of what we know until we let it be itself again. Walking the yard with coffee cooling in my hand, I stop at a single seed of hawk beard balanced on a blade of grass. Except for paying attention, what else is continual prayer? <laughs> 